was the most notorious insurrectionist at the Capitol. The QAnon shaman in buffalo horns and a coyote headdress carrying a spear. Look at him today. Jacob Chansley is behind bars at a detention center in Virginia defending his role in the January 6th riot. My actions were not an attack on this country. That is incorrect. That is inaccurate entirely. He spoke exclusively to Laurie Siegel for 60 Minutes Plus, seen on the new streaming service Paramount Plus. Is he sorry at all for what he did? He says he regrets going into that building with every fiber of his being. Chansley was caught on camera sitting in Vice President Mike Pence's chair in the Senate chamber, leaving this ominous note. It's only a matter of time. Justice is coming. And leading his fellow insurrectionists in prayer. In Christ's holy name we pray. I sang a song, and that's a part of shamanism. It's about um, creating positive vibrations in a sacred chamber. I also stop people from stealing and vandalizing that sacred space, the Senate. Okay. He also put forward the muffin defense. I actually stopped somebody from stealing muffins out of, the, out of the break room. He genuinely believed that Donald Trump was going to be there and be there with them. And as he said, quote, had his back. Um, he, you know, talks about being devastated when he didn't receive a pardon from Donald Trump. He believed that he was going to get a pardon. 60 Minutes Sin. Plus also he spoke to the shaman's crazy. mother, Martha. Do you see anything wrong with what your son did? What, what do you mean by wrong? What, like wrong? He didn't, he, wa he went through open doors. He was escorted into the Senate. So I don't know what's wrong with that. The nation's capital was on high alert today. According to a joint intelligence bulletin, domestic extremists emboldened by the January 6th attack discussed plans to take control of the U.S. Capitol and remove Democratic lawmakers on or about March 4th. Security around the Capitol was beefed up. The House even the shut down for the day. The the we spoke to CBS News congressional correspondent Chris Van Cleve. We have for weeks now gotten used to the fence line. It's topped with razor wire and these checkpoints. This morning, there were far more police officers at those checkpoints, and they were heavily armed. Far more National Guard troops out patrolling the grounds. It's a very visible security presence, a very visible security increase. But at least for now, all is quiet on the streets of our capital.